Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Tammy Melchok. And I'm Jim Scott. We start tonight with the drought. And from our Water Watchers file, the struggle that many rural communities are in right now to find water during our historic drought. There is no lake in Lake of the Woods anymore. In fact, there's very little water to be had in that mountain enclave west of Fraser Park. The little town of 800 or so people is being squeezed so hard by the drought, its little water company there is desperately seeking a new source of drinking water. But so far, luck has not been on the side of Lake of the Woods. Anthony Labina just picked up some drinking water to get him and his wife through the day. That's for drinking coffee and stuff. We don't use any of the tap water. It's for showering and washing dishes. Four years of drought and a dwindling snowpack have shrunk the mountain aquifers here. The four wells serving Lake of the Woods produce half of the water they need. The town's mutual water company is buying water from Lebec and storing it in these tanks. So we're hoping to get something more out of this. This is the seventh water well drilled in Lake of the Woods in the last two years. The previous six were dry holes. Bob Stoll is the volunteer chairman of the water board here. We're down about 480 feet, 500 feet, and um, we don't know yet. I won't know for another week on the details on how much water we're getting out of it. Stowell says if well number seven isn't the lucky well, they'll drill another. The water company has received about a million dollars in state and federal grants to find a new water source. Stowell meets with state officials again this Thursday to talk about the next step, which includes infrastructure improvements and installing water meters on all homes here. How much does it cost to drill a well like this? Uh, you know, a, a, a figure on that ballpark, $250,000. So it's not like the state's ignored your problems up here. No, though, the right? state's helping out a no. lot. But if the drought persists and drillers can't find water, folks like Anthony Labina will be facing some tough decisions. This bad next year, will you be here? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, it's scary. You know, I mean, it's just, uh, you need water, let's face it. The state is still sitting on some $300 million in drought assistance funds, and folks like Anthony Lobina and Bob Stoll are hoping there's money in those government bank accounts for Lake of the Woods.